In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to set up and run a Decred full node on the Raspberry Pi with Tor enabled. A full node is a program that fully validates transactions and blocks without having to rely on a third party. Running a full node is one of the strongest actions of support you can do for a peer-to-peer -peer distributed protocol. Every single Decred node that runs on the network adds strength and resilience to the consensus mechanism. This video is geared towards low-level users new to the Raspberry Pi and Linux. The easiest way to follow along is to run this video alongside the script I've released on GitHub, where you can copy and paste in all of the needed commands. You'll see me doing this in the video. I'd like to thank Checkmate for the original Raspberry Pi guide and Kozel for the guide on setting up Tor. So let's start. You'll need the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or better, a power adapter or power cord, a 32 gigabyte or more SD card and SD card reader. I would recommend an SSD instead of an SD card if you'd like to get the best performance and shelf life out of your node, but an SD card is fine to start with. And an HDMI cable if you'd like to hook up your Pi directly to your monitor or TV. If you don't already have a Raspberry Pi, I'd recommend buying a kit or bundle which will come with everything you'll need. These run between $60 to $100 online depending on what model you go for. The first step is to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. Plug your SD card or SSD into your computer. We will be installing the Raspberry Pi OS. Download a program called the Raspberry Pi Imager and install it. Choose your operating system, the default is fine. Choose your SD card, be careful not to pick anything else, and click write. Once finished, right click on the drive and click eject. You'll need to decide if you want to set up your Pi headless, meaning you access your Pi remotely without having to plug in a mouse, keyboard, and monitor. Or you can choose to plug everything in and connect your Pi to a TV or monitor with an HDMI cable. I would recommend taking the time to learn how to set up your Pi headless so you can easily check up on it in the future. For the headless setup, plug your SD card or SSD back in. You'll need to create a text file in the boot drive titled SSH. If you plan on SSHing into your Pi wirelessly, there's another step where you need to create a text file titled WPA underscore supplicant dot conf and input the following in the document. Of course, you need to input your own country code, network name, and your own network password. Save the file once you are done. Right click the drive and click eject. Plug in your ethernet cable if needed. Plug your SD card into your Pi, plug in the power, and boot up your Pi. If you are doing this process directly connecting your Pi to a monitor, you should see the Pi boot up and you'll be presented with the home screen. If you are doing a headless setup, you will need to download a program called PuTTY. This program will allow us to access our Pi and control it via command line after it has booted. In PuTTY, enter raspberrypi.local and click enter. Click connect past the precaution. You'll be prompted to enter a username and password. The default is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Congrats, you have now just SSH'd into your Pi. If you try to connect wirelessly and couldn't find a host, you may need to plug in your Pi directly to a monitor and manually enter your network passphrase when prompted. You can also, of course, just go directly through Ethernet, which is the easier option. Now we need to enable the VNC viewer. In the command line, type sudo raspi-config, select interfacing options, select VNC, press yes, then OK, then finished. Next, we'll set the resolution for VNC, run sudo nano boot config.txt, add the following text to the document. Again, you should be using the script on GitHub to get these commands. Now download, install, and launch the VNC viewer. Select new connection from the file menu, enter raspberry pi.local in the VNC server field, click OK. Double click on the connection icon to connect. Click OK if you are shown a security warning. Enter the Pi's username and password when prompted. The defaults are username Pi and password Raspberry. Click OK. Your Raspberry Pi desktop will then appear in a window on your main computer's desktop. You'll be able to control everything from there. If you are using your Pi directly through your monitor, you can also follow along here. Set your country as needed. Change your Pi's account password when prompted. You can configure your Wi-Fi at this point if needed. Update your Pi. Reboot your Pi when prompted. If you're doing this over VNC, you'll need to reconnect once the Pi is rebooted. Now we need to download the DCR installer. Open the web browser, navigate to the decred.org website, scroll down and look for the green stable version 1.5.1. .1. Newer releases will be a different version, so keep that in mind. Clicking this will bring us to Decred's GitHub releases page. 
download dcr install linux arm version 1.5.1. Again, there may be a newer version out. Make sure to download the latest version. We'll need to set the file as an executable. Open the pi terminal, run the downloads command as shown. Now run the command to make it executable. Navigate to your downloads folder. Double click the installer, execute the installer in terminal. It will take a few minutes to download and set up all the files. A folder called decred will be placed in your home directory. It may ask you to input a password for a new wallet, enter a password, Remember, we're just using this as a node and not as a wallet. Type N for public data, hit N for seed. We're not using this as a wallet, so don't write down the seed. Hit OK for the seed. Wait a few minutes for it to finish. Now we can start the node. Open the terminal and run the command to get it started. Make sure to change the version number if the current version is no longer version 1.5.1, for instance, version 1.6.0. The decred daemon will boot up and start connecting to peers. If you see that your node has successfully booted, hit Ctrl and C at the same time so we can finish by enabling Tor. If you do not wish to run Tor, make sure to forward the 9108 port. If you choose to run Tor, you won't need to do any port forwarding. Tor is free and open source software for enabling anonymous communication. Open the Raspberry Pi terminal, run sudo apt install Tor. Press Y to continue. Run the next command. Add the following text at the top as shown. Press Ctrl and X at the same time when you are finished, save to the same file location, hit enter to continue. Restart the Tor service with the following command. Check the status to see if it's working. If it's not working, make sure you input everything correctly as above. You can exit the view by pressing Ctrl and C at the same time. Run the next command. Save your .onion, we will need this for the next step. Now we'll need to run the configuration. Edit the top of the file as shown on the screen. Make sure to input your own .onion. Press Ctrl and X at the same time to exit, save the file, and now run your decred node. The node will need lots of time to download and sync. Currently the decred blockchain is 4.2 gigabytes in size. When you start seeing logs saying inbound, it means your node is accepting peer connections and now you're officially part of the Decred network, helping it grow. If your Pi ever loses power, make sure to reboot it and rerun DCRD. It's also a good idea to use VNC to check up on your Pi every so often. Also make sure you follow the Decred project so you don't miss any new releases. Thanks for watching.
Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.